Imagine knowing something so well that one day your mind no longer recognizes it. This is the paradox of jamais vu, the moment when the familiar turns alien. Have you ever stared at a word so long that it suddenly seemed wrong? As if the letters lost their meaning and for a moment, reality felt unfamiliar. This unsettling experience is called jamais vu, the opposite of déjà vu. While déjà vu tricks us into believing we've lived a moment before, jamais vu makes the familiar seem strange and alien. But what causes this bizarre cognitive glitch? Is it a neurological error, a psychological phenomenon, or something deeper about how we construct reality? For decades, neuroscientists, psychologists, and even psychoanalysts have tried to decode this enigma. Sigmund Freud saw these disruptions as windows into the unconscious. Modern cognitive science, however, points to something far more intricate, a moment when the brain's recognition system falters and meaning dissolves before our eyes. In this video, we'll explore what jamais vu really is, why it happens, and what it reveals about memory, language, and the fragile nature of reality. Let's dive into the science and the mystery behind jamais vu. Jamais vu, a French term meaning never seen, is the uncanny sensation when something completely familiar suddenly feels strange or unfamiliar. Imagine staring at a common word, like door or tree, over and over again, until it looks distorted, almost meaningless or walking down the same street you've taken for years, yet for a fleeting moment, it feels foreign, as if you've stepped into another reality. That's jamais vu. Unlike déjà vu, which tricks your mind into believing you've experienced a moment before, jamais vu disrupts recognition. It creates a cognitive dissonance, a gap between what you know and what you feel in that instant. Psychologists often describe this as a recognition failure a temporary breakdown in the brain's pattern recognition system. Interestingly, it's not necessarily a sign of illness. Many perfectly healthy individuals report experiencing jamais vu at least once in their lives. Psychoanalysts, including Sigmund Freud, once viewed these phenomena as moments when the unconscious leaks into consciousness, a subtle rupture in our constructed sense of reality. But modern neuroscience and cognitive psychology see it differently. They connect jamais vu to processes of language, memory, and semantic satiation, the moment when repeated exposure to a familiar word or image strips it of meaning. This strange experience challenges how fragile our perception really is. If something as ordinary as a word can suddenly lose its essence, what does that say about the nature of meaning itself? At its core, jamais vu is a glitch in the brain's recognition system. Unlike déjà vu, which involves a false sense of familiarity, jamais vu occurs when the brain fails to link a familiar object, word, or environment with its stored meaning. Neuroscientists suggest that this happens due to a temporary disconnect between semantic memory, our knowledge of words and meanings, and the perceptual system that processes what we see. In other words, your brain recognizes the shape of a word, but the meaning doesn't register. This is why staring at a common word repeatedly can make it feel unfamiliar, a phenomenon known as semantic satiation. Cognitive psychologists have demonstrated this effect experimentally. When a person repeats a word dozens of times, the neural circuits responsible for meaning begin to fatigue. The word becomes an empty shape, a meaningless sound. This same mechanism likely underlies jamais vu experiences in everyday life. There is also evidence that jamais vu can occur during episodes of dissociation, extreme stress, or fatigue. In rare cases, it's associated with temporal lobe epilepsy, where seizures disrupt normal memory processes. But for most people, it's simply a benign quirk of cognition, a reminder that our sense of reality depends on fragile, fallible systems. Why is this important? Because it reveals that meaning is not inherent. It's constructed by the brain, moment by moment. And if those processes falter, reality itself can feel strange, alien, or even unreal. Beyond neuroscience, jamais vu opens the door to profound philosophical questions. If something familiar can suddenly appear foreign, what does that say about the stability of reality? Are meaning and recognition inherent to the world, 
or are they fragile constructions of the mind? Phenomenologists and existentialists have long explored this unsettling territory. French philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre described moments when everyday objects lose their normal sense of purpose, leaving us face to face with the raw existence beneath. Similarly, Sigmund Freud interpreted these experiences as cracks in the conscious mind, where the unconscious seeps through and disrupts the illusion of continuity. Jamais Vu challenges the comforting assumption that our world is fixed and reliable. Instead, it suggests that reality is not a given, but a fragile narrative, stitched together by memory, language, and perception. When the brain falters, that narrative collapses, even if only for a second. These brief distortions of familiarity remind us of a deeper truth. What we call reality is a mental construct constantly updated and endlessly vulnerable to error. In that sense, jamais vu is not just a curiosity of the mind. It's a glimpse into the impermanence of meaning itself. While jamais vu sounds rare and mysterious, it actually happens more often than you think. Many people experience it during repetitive tasks or moments of mental fatigue. Have you ever typed a common word like apple or door so many times that it suddenly looks strange, almost as if it wasn't a real word anymore? That's semantic satiation, a classic trigger for jamais vu. Your brain temporarily disconnects the visual pattern of the word from its meaning, creating a bizarre sense of unfamiliarity. Another common scenario is overfamiliar environments. Walking down a hallway you've passed hundreds of times, or seeing a familiar face, but for a split second, it feels alien. These are small glimpses into how fragile recognition can be. Psychologists note that stress, lack of sleep, and cognitive overload increase the likelihood of jamais vu. These factors fatigue the brain's recognition circuits, making them more prone to error. Interestingly, writers and artists have long reported this phenomenon when working with language. Spending hours repeating words or revising text can create a sense of estrangement, a phenomenon that has inspired entire schools of thought in linguistics and literary theory. In short, jamais vu is not a flaw. It's a feature of a system built to conserve energy. Our brain uses shortcuts to make sense of the world, and occasionally those shortcuts fail. The result? A brief but haunting reminder that our sense of reality is far from absolute. The phenomenon of jamais vu has fascinated researchers for decades, yet scientific studies are far fewer than those on déjà vu. Still, what we know offers intriguing insights into the brain's inner workings. One of the most influential studies on jamais vu comes from Chris Moulin, a cognitive neuropsychologist who explored the connection between language, repetition, and recognition failure. In controlled experiments, Moulin asked participants to write the same word repeatedly, sometimes more than 30 times. Many reported a sudden feeling that the word looked strange or had lost its meaning entirely. This is the classic semantic satiation effect, a key trigger for jamais vu. Another line of research links jamais vu to temporal lobe activity. Similar to déjà vu, jamais vu has been observed in patients with temporal lobe epilepsy, particularly during seizures or shortly before them. However, in healthy individuals, the effect appears to be a harmless cognitive glitch rather than a pathological symptom. Studies also suggest a relationship between jamais vu and fatigue or stress. When the brain's recognition system is overloaded or deprived of rest, it becomes more prone to errors, turning familiar stimuli into something strangely foreign. Despite its fleeting nature, jamais vu provides a valuable window into how memory and meaning are constructed. The fact that familiarity can evaporate so quickly reveals that our sense of certainty is an illusion a mental process that can falter at any moment. As research advances, scientists hope to uncover more about these fragile mechanisms, not just to understand jamais vu, but to shed light on the mysteries of consciousness, memory, and perception. Jamais vu may seem like a fleeting oddity, but it offers profound insights into the workings of the human mind. Unlike déjà vu, which tricks us into feeling familiarity where none exists, Jamais vu strips familiarity away, revealing how fragile our sense of reality truly is. From a psychological perspective, it underscores the brain's dependence on shortcuts, mental algorithms that allow us to navigate the world efficiently, but sometimes fail. These failures, however brief, 
remind us that meaning and recognition are not absolute. They are constructed, vulnerable, and deeply tied to the health of our cognitive systems. From a philosophical angle, Gemma Vu forces us to confront uncomfortable truths, that reality is not fixed, that perception is unstable, and that even the most familiar parts of our world can feel foreign in an instant. Think about it. If a single word can lose all meaning after a few repetitions, what does that say about the permanence of our beliefs, our identities, even our sense of self? Ultimately, studying Jama's Vu is not just about understanding a rare mental glitch. It's about unlocking the secrets of memory, consciousness, and the narrative that holds our lives together. Because when recognition fails, it exposes the fragile scaffolding beneath what we call reality. So, what does Jame Vu teach us? It's more than a curious brain glitch. It's a mirror held up to reality itself. A reminder that the world we trust is not solid stone, but a delicate tapestry woven from memory, language, and perception. Next time a word starts to look strange, or a familiar place feels alien, pause for a moment. Ask yourself, if something so ordinary can lose its meaning in an instant, what else about my reality is just an illusion? These questions take us beyond neuroscience, beyond psychology, into the realm of philosophy and consciousness. And if this fascinates you as much as it fascinates me, stick around, because there's so much more to uncover about the mysteries of the mind. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Because next time, we'll explore how Deja Vu and Jamais Vu might reveal the true architecture of the human mind. Until then, question everything, especially what feels most familiar.